I think it's really normal uh, when you're first diagnosed uh, with a diagnosis like lung cancer to want to understand everything about your uh, new condition. And uh, patients that are told that they have a KRAS mutation in their lung cancer are no exception. So my patients whose cancers harbor KRAS mutations typically want to know um, how do I learn more information about what this type of lung cancer means? Um, how do I find other patients that are like me that have this sort of mutation? And um, how do I make sure that I access the very best uh, cutting edge therapy uh, for this particular type of cancer? I always talk to my patients about how clinical trials should be the first step in treating a patient's cancer, not the last. KRAS G12C, for example, um, is one mutation that we now have FDA approved direct KRAS G12C inhibitors uh, to treat. But these KRAS uh, tumors tend to be quite responsive to immune therapies. Uh, and so there are, and there are many other drugs and combinations of drugs uh, in clinical trials right now for other KRAS mutant lung cancers. So KRAS G12D, KRAS G12V, um, KRAS G13C as some examples. Um, we have vaccine trials, we have uh, combinations of uh, drugs that uh, inhibit the MAP kinase pathway in addition to KRAS itself. Uh, we have immunotherapy trials and uh, uh, neoantigen vaccines, neoantigen-directed uh, therapies as well.